Hi friends, today is going to be my TBR takedown for the month of March. <laughs> Are new here the TBR takedown is a game that I'm playing trying to get my physical unread TBR bookshelf down from a really high number I started at 240 books in 2019 and I'm trying to get down to 50 this year my goal is to be at 100 by the end of the year I'm working on it and uh Let's see how we did. As always, we will start off with the haul for this month. And if you want to know more about any of the books that I have read, I will be linking my wrap up in the description box down below because we do the wrap up separately because otherwise this video is very long. So the first book that I hauled is Namesake by Adrienne Young. This is the second book in the Fable duology. Fable follows a girl named Fable who is left on this island as a young child by her father who is the captain of this entire fleet of pirate ships. And when when her mother dies she's left there and he basically tells her you know one day come find me and this island is full of a bunch of thugs and thieves and people where she has been running for her life essentially since she's been there I think she's been there like four maybe six years it's been a while she pisses off one of the guys and she has to run for her life and she barters boarding on a ship that is helmed by West who is um, basically the love interest of the first book and it's just this amazing pirate story about found family and your birth family and just a very beautiful story. This is a new release this month. I pre-ordered it. Tis signed. Went to a live show discussion for it from Malaprops. Like I was all over this release. Okay speaking of new releases that I was all over Chain of Gold by Cassie Clare. I did the Barnes and Noble um, pre-order for this so that I could do the live show that was done with Emma Books um, and again it is signed so I have this beautiful edition of Chain of Gold by Cassandra Clare. This is the second book in the Last Hours trilogy. Um, it is part of the Shadowhunters series. If you're on booktube you know what that is so I don't need to tell you the part of this book but essentially this is following the children of the Infernal Devices trilogy so the 1800s ish series. We then have The Deck of Omens which is the sequel to The Devouring Grey by Christine Lynn Herman. I read The Devouring Grey last month. I also read this book last month but hey neither here nor there. Uh, the Devouring Grey follows this town where they have this Devouring Grey. Um, it is just something that basically kind of like devours the town. It's this monster that the town is afraid of. There are four founding families and these families each have a different magical power that they use to help keep the Grey from the town and the book follows that horrible ordeal. We then have Slay by Brittany Morris. I also read this last month. This was the February pick for the Avengers Initiative Reading Challenge. This book follows Kira who is a teenage game developer. She's in high school. She developed this game so that she could have a place for herself and other people of color to enjoy video games without the racism that they deal with in a lot of major video games which I'm not familiar with video games so like like I know that's a thing that happens but like I don't understand mass video games like I don't get it it's just not my thing. The book really begins when one of the players for the game is killed in the real world and the media and people just kind of go on this tangent about uh, Emerald who is Kira's character and what they like the game and how it's a bunch of thugs and miscreants and how they are basically saying that this game is just a way for them to learn how to be terrible people and not really knowing what's going on and Kira being afraid that she's going to be charged or that there's going to be something that's going to happen and just follows that storyline. We then have this month's Outcrate which is Sweet and Bitter Magic by Adrian Tooley. This book follows Tamsin who is a well what they say in the synopsis the most powerful witch of her generation and she commits this really big sin that the magical users are not supposed to do and because of that the coven takes her powers away her ability to love away and and the only way for her to get that ability to love is to steal it from another person and then we bring in Ren who is a source which essentially means that um, she's someone that the coven like want to take in and like make part of their thing and she doesn't go for that because she's been taking care of her ailing father for a long time so she's trying to hide from them as well as take care of her father and he was cursed by a witch and so she's trying to get his curse taken away. So she enlists Tamsin to help her with this problem and in doing so says that you know if she helps her she will give her her love for her father um, so that she can have the ability to love for a little while. I don't really know more than that. 
that's all I know. Then have it, These Witches Don't Burn by Isabel Sterling. I've also read this. I read it a long time ago. But I had a book of the month book and I really wanted to match this with the paperback that is releasing of the second book in the series which I also loved. So um, I bought the paperback version for my shelves. This book follows a coven of witches and they are elemental ma magic. It follows Hannah, her ex-girlfriend who she needs help from, her new crush, her best friend. Like there's a whole bunch of people. It has a really great magic system in it that I really enjoy and a very lovely sapphic romance. So I really enjoyed this series. Then hauled Sanctuary by Karen Licks. This was the Avengers Initiative Reading Challenge book for March. This book follows Kinsey who is on a space station. She is like a junior guard on the space station where they house teen delinquents who are people who are empowered and basically these people who have this power are supposed to be these terrible people. There's like a thing that happens and so all of the other guards are missing and she has to get the help from the empowered teens on the space station to help her defeat the real villain of the book. And I will just go over the books that I read this month. As I said, if you want to know more about any of these, the wrap up will be linked in the description box down below, as well as in the cards. And we have Catacomb by Madeline Rue, Sanctuary by Karen Licks, One of Us is Lying by Karen and McManus, Truth Witch by Susan Dennard, The Cold is in Our Bones by Peter Nell Van Arsdale, Chain of Iron by Cassandra Clare, Crazy Stupid Romance by Alyssa K. Adams, Namesake by Adrienne Young, Ten Blinding Dates by Ashley Elston, Bridge of Souls by Victoria Schwab, Only Mostly Devastated by Sylvie Gonzalez, Our Chemical Hearts by Crystal Sutherland, A Reaper at the Gates by Sabah Tahir, Caraval by Stephanie Garber, and The Lost Book of the White by Cassie Clare and Wesley Chu. So if you were watching the numbers, not a lot of them changed. There were a few books that I read that were just audiobooks and Our Chemical Hearts, Truth Witch, and Ten Blind Dates were all rereads for me. Um, I wasn't expecting to reread three books this month, but I'm fine with that. I enjoyed them all, so that's what matters. On the Unhaul DNF scale, I had 10 books that I DNF'd this month. I'm gonna do those in a separate video so that we can talk about why I DNF'd them. Um, it was actually a video idea that I had, so that will be coming up in a couple of days. You can check that out if you want to know what 10 books I DNF'd. Um, I don't want to list them here because then why would you watch that video? That would be crazy. So essentially in March we started with 156 books. I don't think I mentioned that before, but we did start with 156 books. I hauled four books that count because some of them were already read. I read nine books that count as coming off of my TBR and then I had 10 books that come off my TBR as DNFs, which means my new total is 141 books on my physical TBR, which is amazing. Um, I had a really good month this month. If you have watched my TBR video, you'll know that I said that I was going to prioritize some longer books this month. Um, and it was because of those 10 DNFs that I felt like I could take a breather this month, read some longer books that are on my physical TBR, not feel like I have to shove in, you know, a bunch of like the entire series by Madeline Rue, the entire series uh, by Maureen Johnson that I read last month. I think I've actually read three series in the last two months. I've read 31 books in the last two months, which is fine. I've been like retaining the knowledge. I actually read more pages this month than I read last month because I had the 10 DNFs, even though I read one last book. Uh, because I counted the pages of the DNFs that I did read. So yeah, it is just an interesting month and I'm planning on April to be much lower of a number. 141, which means I need to read 41 books off of my physical TBR and then whatever I bring in subsequently. Uh, I think I've already got like four or five books pre-ordered. Um, but 41 books I need to read off of my physical TBR by the end of the year, which sounds completely doable as I already read 40 books this year. We'll see what happens. That is all I have for today. I post reading, writing, book, and planner related videos a couple of times a week. So if you don't want to miss anything I have going in the future, make sure you hit subscribe button and the notification bell down below. And until then, I will see you guys next time. Bye!